Welcome to Fiora, and today we have Geogen and his AT-15 on Sand River. Now, I want to clarify something about the AT-15. It's been a long freaking time since it was on my channel. Matter of fact, if I look it up right now as this match starts... When was the last time the A15 was on my channel? Under God. I can't even look it up. I'm gonna have to actually go to the playlist to find it. Because it's so old. You know what? I'm probably also gonna link it as the last time it was here. But as Geogen gets started here, he is uh, opening fire on this poor AMX 12T, whom he misses. And he is kind of playing a bit. Well, I would say defensively. He isn't an AT-15 after all, guys. It is, uh... It is not... The biggest and the baddest champ... The biggest and the baddest tank to try to take the front line with. I think I might actually have to stand corrected. I don't think the AT-15 has been on my channel. Nope, here it is. Well, this thing slowly rolled up. So the AT-15 was on my channel before I got the new recording software and officially went to go all out for the channel. Before I even got my new hardware. February 27th, 2015. The video of it is terrible. I think this tank deserves another look, especially after... <laughs> Oh my god, it's almost been a year. Have I really been doing this this long? Not that I'm complaining. Um, 1,500 subscribers is actually pretty damn good for, you know, 10 months of work. Okay, Geogen, I'm pretty sure that your engine power is not sufficient for that. There we go. And I think he's using an increased field of vision mod. I'm not quite sure if those are legal on the NA server or not. Um, someone may need to correct me and let me know. But I'm pretty sure he's using an increased field of vision mod because I can't zoom out that far. And I have not been running any mods for months. Oh, look at that. A lot of enemy tanks. Now, in my opinion, he's doing this wrong. He's poking out to the w with his right side. His right side is where the weak point that everybody loves to shoot at is bigger. I would poke out with the left side if I could. But in the meantime, he's just letting this poor LeVay have his little 20-pounder all day long. I don't think the LeVay can see him right now. Oh, no, they can see him. They're shooting him. Too bad they're not hitting that weak point. Oh, are you really just going to beat on this poor heavy tank? Yeah, you are. Oh, and there's Artie. Ah, and there's a lot of pain. He's been sitting still too long. He's been sitting in the open spot at a bit too long. Fixes his loader, takes out the LeVay. The super person next to him is dead, and he takes a big ol' hit in the side from the IS-3. That looked painful. So we know the art, everything virtually just shot at him. Artie, a couple tanks. This is not a happy position. 20 pound gun, however, does have the penetration to hurt, even if the derp gun on the uh, jumbo there is going to leave a dent. IS-3 is poking up. He puts one out. It does, in fact, impact. He's looking for another one. That one, however, hits the pretty sure hit the IS-3's turret. And look at that. He's got enemies off to his left. Or to his right. So he's going to poke up here just barely enough to expose and start letting this autoloader have some ammo. And since his right side is further down, it's actually harder to hit that right side weak point, and the left side weak point is smaller. So, so long as he keeps in this position, he can keep doing this. Ooh, I think that was an artillery shell, because I think that was an HE explosion. 450-100, he fires almost as fast as you do. 
That's his third kill, and that was an important kill. That was an auto loader. We hate those, especially when they survive for really long. And he's done a fairly huge amount of damage. Ooh, reduce the KV-85 to a one-shot. Oh, this is a risky move. That IS-3 gets a fires a gold shell. It can just go in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this could be it. Oh, there's a bounce. There's another bounce. That means the IS-3 did in fact fire and not penetrate. Enemy already is probably still zoomed on his position. I would be. I would recognize that Geogen has been quite the threat this match and quite devastating to his team. He's got a KV-85 moving up behind him. He's got three different enemy tanks in front of him. This is not a happy gut position. He should probably turn around and go after the 85. Oh my god! What a lucky bounce! That was the artillery! Oh, did no, almost no damage to his frontal plate. Oh, what a lucky, lucky bounce there. Uh, that could have ended very poorly for Geogen. Oh, there it is. Oh, done. And, of course, you know, 200-some-odd pen is just going to punch that IS-3 like butter. Okay, so he's taken a beating. His tank has just absorbed so much. I kind of agree with you, Jumbo. That IS-3 has been sitting back kind of just camping. He already's there? Wow, what did even... That shot must have been, just been RNG's magic to have not killed him. That or he's got a spar liner, because you can see where it landed. That scorch mark right there underneath the gun is exactly where it landed. The thickest point of his armor at the best possible angle to reduce the damage. But he has done what I would do in an AT-15. Get up front... Use your armor and your stupid high rate of fire gun and just beat people senseless. And that's exactly how you should pr be playing this tank, guys. That's how you should play all the AT series tanks. You should find a good high ground position, use their superior gun depression, and use their massive armor. I get that a lot of people don't really think they're that well armored because of those two big weak points, but he did do a good job of trying to cover them as much as possible and always engaging the enemy from underneath. And he comes up behind this IS-3, and he auto-aims, which is a mistake. From this angle, that IS-3 can bounce you. It's called reverse side scrape. But he can't bounce with his butt. There's a butt there. It's his butt. That's the end of the match. Wow. Nice job, Geogen. Quite a bit of luck from not dying to Artie there, but still. Very nice job. Let's go check out the final stats for this particular replay, and then I'll tell you about Geogen's channel if you guys haven't heard before. We're doing another, uh, I'm, we're doing another uh, replay exchange. It's the first one I've done in about two weeks. So let's go take a look at the. Here we are. We have Ace Tanker, of course, because he, you know, got a boatload of XP. Steel Wall, Spartan, and High Caliber. He racked up four kills, and look at all this. Just repeated shots into people. That entire AMX 5100's hit point bar belongs to Geogen. That guy's life is Geogen's right now. The poor LeVay, he blew out four critical modules and did 1100 to it. I mean, if you can just get this thing in a position just to rail people, it will just beat them up. Almost 4,500 damage. Almost. And, yeah. Base XP around 2,300, 2,296, and then double that for his daily double. Goes all the way up to over, almost 46,000. 3,000 damage blocked by armor. 4,500 damage issued, 31,000 credits made. I mean, what else can I say? This was a good overall match and replay and an excellent use of the AT-15 and of the AT series of tanks. I gotta say, this was a very, very good use of the AT series of tanks. 
and it was 9.10, the 9.12 patch came out yesterday, so this is a very recent replay, and the only thing I think they did to the AT-15 this time was make sure its HD model was complete. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more stuff by Fiora, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate all the shares on social media, Reddit, wherever you want to put this video, go ahead. I would appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, you can do so in one of two ways. You can either go to the Patreon page and donate a dollar, or you can click on the ad at the end of the video. Either way, supports the channel financially, and I appreciate all of that. At this point, I mean, you, this pays for my groceries and my car insurance, and I would appreciate that to continue, because you guys were made of awesome. And lastly, if you want to see the previous World of Tanks video, I was going to show you the previous AT-815 video and then went, oh my god, this is before I got my recording software that I use now, before I got my editing software, before I got <laughs> my new hardware. This is just terrible. Uh, so instead, there's the Centurion Action 10. Awesome video, by the way. I think I dealt 6,800 damage? In the meantime... This is Fiora, officially signing out for right now, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Talk to you soon. In the meantime, the score is evened up, and I am heading to outflank. Look at how quick this little thing is. I mean, it's no, 